Island Strong Festival in Grand Isle. This is what we're looking for. Highs about 90 degrees today, so a humid kind of day with spotty thunderstorms this afternoon. So hope it goes well there. You may have to dodge a little bit of rain, but actually overall this weekend we will have a bit less rain than we've had the past few days. We had a kind of cloudy and rainy week. Still though, a few afternoon showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible, just not as many as we saw the past few days. And it does get a little drier even more starting on Monday and into part of next week as high pressure is back in control. So right now 76, lots of blue sky out there. Also some clouds off in the distance. Current temperatures north and south, mostly in the 70s, unless you're at Burris, already 80 degrees there. And our live radar is mostly quiet, but we have had a little bit of offshore showers moving north to south, and we will see if we get a little bit more of that over land areas later today. We have surface high pressure just south of us and a big upper high also near us. So today we're looking for a little less rain. We'll say a 40% chance. Now that's actually, as I was saying earlier, super typical for mid-July in the summer in New Orleans in the South Louisiana area. Highs about 91, also average for this point in the year. So kind of have to talk about a forecast that is just about really what you would guess the forecast would be for today. Uh, not a really especially high rain chance and also not extremely low chances for rain where we heat up into the mid and upper 90s. Neither of those situations for today. In fact, our temperatures just kind of gradually move through the 80s, top out about 90 degrees. You can see our rain chance the highest for the afternoon hours. And then as we've been seeing lately in the evenings, our temperatures dropping back through the 80s and our rain chance coming to an end. So tonight we'll keep it near just 10 or 20 percent for a stray shower overnight. Low temperatures in the 70s. Now here's your high resolution model. If you're making your plans for this weekend, just kind of glance up at your screen and we'll, we'll take you through it. This is for 2 p.m. Still pretty quiet across most of our area. Moving toward 3 and 4 and 5, you can see the spotty and scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms here and there. A downpour or two, a rather small pocket of heavy rain will be possible, but the flooding threat is not as high as it is or has been over the past few days as we have a little less moisture to tap into in our atmosphere. Not a whole lot to be able to feel less humid though. Tomorrow morning starting in the uh, quiet range at 7 a.m. Getting into lunchtime still pretty quiet. This takes us to 2 and 3 p.m. Some spotty showers and storms and then not much going on as we get into the evening. So overall we're looking quiet as we get into this uh, kind of next few hours. We'll see a flare up of a few showers and thunderstorms and then tomorrow almost identical. Both days highs near about 91, which is average for this point in the year. Monday and Tuesday will drop the rain chance even into Wednesday too to maybe about 20 or 30 percent. That means our temperatures will take off a little bit. I kept them right now near 92 or 93, but we might top out just a touch higher in a couple of spots depending on whether you get a spotty downpour or not. At the end of the week, we'll keep it again pretty similar. As you can see, a rather steady forecast, if a little bit drier at the start of the week. Bring it on. We need some heat in there, right?